All right, YouTube, I got another video for you. This is a um, nitrate reactor that I built. I'm getting ready to install it right now. Um, I'll just take you through the parts and it's, I'm gonna show it to you installed as well. This, this is a mason jar. I bought it at Target for four bucks. Um, it's one and a half a liter, I think, is what the, it shows on the side. 1500 milliliters, but I, I have close to um, two liters of CCAM denitrate in here right now. It almost took a full two liters. <clears throat> and then I'm using, these are half inch PVC bulkheads. And I've got screens inside. This is another one. They're threaded bulkheads. This is a threaded adapter. I've got a T here and then a drain valve so I can drain it down for maintenance. And to connect to it, I'm using, I'm gonna use 3 eighths vinyl tube, which I also have. So this is gonna be the inlet. It's gonna to be top-down flow, and the reason I did this is so it would be easy to maintain. Um, I'm gonna have some really fine polishing pads up top here, a 100 micron and a 50 micron. And to clean it, all I'll have to do is pop the top off. These mason jars are great. It's just this ring. The inside is separate. So I can just pop it right off and clean the, pull the filter pads out and put them right back. I don't have to disrupt the media at all. I put the drain in here so I could just drain it down, drain the water level down to like here. Just so it wouldn't, um, you know, so I could open it and get the pads out. So this is the coming from, I'm going to come from the discharge of my FX6. So I've got a T, three quarter, three quarter, and this is the three eighths. So I'm going to come up the three eighths into here. I've got a valve for it as well. It's a three eighths barbed valve. And then on the discharge side, three eighths vinyl again, and I'm going to run into three eighths hard PVC. You don't see this very often. I ordered this online. It's 3 eighths um, PVC. And that's going to be piped into my tank. I've got two 90s to go over the top edge of the tank with. So I'm going to get ready to install it, like I said. And after it's up and running, I'll do another video. Second half of this video, I'll show it to you running. Okay, here's the second part of the video. I've got the nitrate reactor up and running inside the tank. Full of um, CCAM denitrate. I'm actually running it upside down because I was trapping water in it. The flow comes in at the top of the jar. And I was trapping some water or some air up here. So I'm actually running it upside down and I was using the, the ball valve as an air vent to get the air out. So now the flow is um, bottom to top. But it's still really good for maintenance because I can flip this over really easily. And I can flip it over right inside the stand, unscrew the cap and take the filtration pads out. I'm running some really fine polishing pads in here. 150 micron. And I've got a loop here, there's a valve on it, comes off of my FX6 discharge right there, there's a T, you can see that, that T's off one of my FX6 discharge side, that's 3 8 hose, and I've got a loop of the hose here, there's about 10 feet of it looped, so I did that and there's a valve there to throttle it. I did the loop so in the hopes to get um, any remaining oxygen out of the water. So I'm hoping that bacteria will grow inside the hose here in this loop and just get as much of the oxygen out of the water as possible. So um, the anaerobic bacteria will grow in here. And it's running at a really slow flow rate. 
the FX6 doesn't have a lot of pressure to push much water through this anyway. But I've got it valved a little bit. There's definitely less than 50 gallons per hour through this. So, it hasn't established yet. I haven't noticed any um, reduction in nitrate yet. It's been up and running for a week now. But I'm going to keep testing once a week. And I'm hoping that this is going to get rid of all the nitrates. Um, I might do a follow-up video. If it does, I think it takes like six or eight weeks for these to establish and start working. So once it does, I'll do a follow-up video to it. 